what is good guys back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird world called professional wrestling as you can tell by the title below this video will be a video where I share my honest thoughts and opinions on Mustafa Ali. Before I share my thoughts and opinions on him, would love to know uh, what yours are down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. And all of that fun, Fun stuff, but when it comes to Mustafa Ali, I've said it before, I'll say it again, uh, on different social media platforms, which you can follow me on the ones that I have down in the comments below uh, and whatnot, but when it comes to Ali, he is legit one of my guys. No joke, like, if I had to pick wrestlers going or that are active uh, kind of deal in recent years, uh, he would be one of the top ones that I would want in the promo my hypothetical promotion kind of deal and whatnot. But for myself personally, uh, he... How do I put this? SummerSlam 2019 weekend was in Toronto, Ontario. I was able to go. I got a VIP for Sunday morning. They called it meet and greet, but it's uh, like an access kind of deal. Uh, for VIP was for uh, Rey Mysterio. Mysterio was signing from, or the uh, access was from 8 to noon. Mysterio was signing from 10 to uh, noon. And Mustafa Ali was um, uh, signing from 8 to 10 kind of deal. And I was marking out more, uh, whatever terminology you would want to use. I was freaking out. I was marking out, again, what it, whichever way you would want to look at it. More for Mustafa Ali than I was for Rey Mysterio, and Rey Mysterio was legit one of my all-time favorites, kind of deal and whatnot. But for myself personally, he, again, is just one of my guys. He's one of those wrestlers that, in a way, I wish I had growing up, or if, hypothetically, I was a 14, 15, 16, or, like, that kind of age range kid that wanted to be a pro wrestler and wanted to be a good human being while doing so uh when rest not all wrestlers are good human beings kind of deal i would look at somebody like mustafa ali who despite um getting some negative responses again primarily on social media uh he responds in kindness for 99.9% .9 of the time or sarcastic that other 0.1% uh, percent kind of deal and whatnot uh but he is again somebody that I wish I had for that kind of stuff but like again he I've met him I know quite a few people that met him whether it was that weekend in Toronto or since, like, hey, he's, uh, he's a good one in, in wrestling, like, he's a good human being, kind of deal, like, good human, like, a good person to be around, uh, kind of deal, and I think for myself personally, again, like, I know a couple of people who, whether it's, like, their kids or their nieces, their nephews, are into wrestling, and it's cool for them to have somebody like Ali, uh, Mustafa Ali, kind of around in wrestling uh, and whatnot because of the positiveness that he has. Like, hey, I went, like, Ali went through this, that, and the other thing, and you can still be at least a decent human being. Yeah, he's good in the ring. Yeah, I find him good on the mic, especially the promos that he would put out on his social media. Even better, some of my favorite... I don't know for sure if you would want to call them promos, but, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like, the uh, videos that he would show of him talking, uh, shared on social media, I really like, uh, and whatnot, and he's one of those guys that I want to see, yeah, succeed in wrestling, don't get me wrong, but I would want to see him succeed outside of the world of wrestling, uh, too, and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, honestly, uh, he's one of those guys for myself personally, just really enjoy watching uh, and whatnot overall. And what's more important, he's a good human being 
uh, to boot, and uh, yeah, met him once, would definitely meet him a hundred times over if I had the opportunity to do so, but yeah, that's it for today's video, hope you guys uh, hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification, don't have to, obviously, if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did, more importantly, hope you guys are doing okay mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's